Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and today we have something I think is pretty special. It's a 2010 Citroen C5. It's an exclusive and it's got the 2 litre turbo diesel engine. Now I know that may not be all that rare, but what I think is pretty rare is the fact that it's done just 25,000 kilometres in six years. And furthermore, it's got a very good service history from a Citroen dealer up to date. And from memory, I think it's got about six or seven stamps in the book. And some people would say, why has it been serviced so many times when it's only done 25,000 kilometres? Well, that's because the owner of this car has done the right thing and they've serviced it every 10,000 kilometres or every year, whatever comes first, which is very good to see. Because unfortunately, with a lot of these low kilometre cars, people say, well, I'm not driving the car, so why would I service it? I'll just service it every 10,000 kilometres. And you get a car like this, which is six or seven years of age, and it's had two services, and it's caused you know, a number of, of issues from having dirty oil, which is not good. This is not one of those cars. It's silver in colour with grey leather interior. I have got the suspension on low at the moment. There's nothing wrong with the car, obviously. Citroens for many, many years have had hydraulic suspension. So they basically use hydraulic fluid and it's got a series of, of bulbs around the car which, which retain the fluid. And obviously when, when the car's down like this, the reservoir fills up. When you put the car in the highest setting, all the fluid goes into the shock absorbers which forces a car up. It's a very reliable system. It's significantly better than your air suspension found on Range Rovers and Mercedes-Benz. Uh, the hydraulic system is found on Citroen. They also use it on, on some Lexus and Toyota Land Cruiser models. And I've actually never personally seen a problem with the hydraulic suspension. I'll put the suspension up to the normal setting. Being a 2010 model, it also has Bluetooth. Yep, so it starts beautifully. You can tell if these are Bluetooth, you basically just press menu and you can see the phone there. So I'm just going to put the suspension up via this switch here. Raising in progress. Just took the handbrake off to take a bit of ease off the shock. So I'll put it up one setting. It's got memory electric driver's seat as well. So as you can see, the back of the car's shot up now and the front goes up as well. It's got rear parking sensors. And if you've been looking for one of these Citroen C5s, I think they're under $20,000 or around $20,000. They represent excellent value for money. The two litre turbo diesel is reliable, very economical, and I don't really think Anything drives like a, a Citroen like this, unless you're getting into an S-Class Mercedes or, or something like that. It soaks up the bumps nicely. Yeah, so I've probably got the suspension on just one setting too high, but you can see it's come up. Look, people don't buy these because the suspension goes up and down. You can drive it over mountains on your property. The reason, why people are buying these, why I've sold a number of them, is because people sometimes, they live in the country, they may even be older, they may have you know, a bit of a sore back and they need a car which is very comfortable to drive, and that's why people are buying these Citroen C5s. They're incredibly comfortable, and they really soak up all the bumps. <clears throat> even on test drives, when I take people around the block, I say, um, look, I'm just gonna take this speed bump, with, with you know, just a little bit of speed, nothing crazy, and maybe 20 or 30 kilometers an hour, and it just soaks it up beautifully. Speaking of comfort, you've got electric seats. If you play with this switch here, if you look at the back of the seat, see how just the back of the seat is coming forward? So you can get very, very comfortable. The car is cold, it's about eight and a half or nine degrees in Marrickville. I've just started it this morning, and for a diesel it really is pretty quiet, which is impressive. And look, there's some cars where it really just keeps getting better. 
It's also registered until the 28th of June 2017. It's got some nice Michelin tyres and it's serviced up to date. This is a car where, which in my opinion I haven't spent anything on it. It's got good tyres, good rego, good kilometres. It's been serviced up to date. You can just drive it and enjoy it. Yes, I think it's very good value. I'm sure if you go online you'll be able to find a 2010 model for a bit less, but I can assure you it's either going to be due for rego, have significantly more kilometres, be overdue for a service, whatever it might be. It's very difficult to find a car like this with nothing to spend. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch our video today. We are the Old Timer Centre. Our location is Marrickville, about 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. Thank you so much for watching.